I have to ask you about the uh, the helicopter crash, which you <laughs> you discuss in your book. Hello, I'm Paul Page. It's race day in Indianapolis. You were in the helicopter doing local traffic reports at the time. I, I, yeah, I was I was doing traffic and news, and um, we didn't really have any traffic at that time in Indianapolis. So the uh, my what I really was was the straight guy for the morning and afternoon drive DJ. And um, we also, though, we did hard news, you know, it's a big wreck on the interstate. We would land, we'd get all the info. And on December 1st of 1977, we were crossing over the top of the speedway and we heard a very loud crack somewhere above us. And we were on our way to the airport. We were just destined to head for Indianapolis International. And that loud crack was the main rotor system stopping in the air. So when that stops, you don't have any auto rotation. And so we were a homesick brick for 500 feet all the way to the ground. I thought we were going to hit the Speedway High School. We instead hit the football, hit the football field. And um, that helped the crash, if you can say something that thing. I was thrown out of the helicopter, severely broke my leg. Uh, I'm amnesic to the actual impact, but I'm, I know everything that happened immediately after because when, when memory comes back, uh, there's still parts hitting around me. So helicopters are 10,000 parts flying in loose formation. Did you know that? I did not. <laughs> how, how vivid are those, the, the memories of before and, and after the crash? They're, they're, they're pretty vivid, um, yeah. but um, they're not... They didn't. They didn't destroy me mentally. Yeah. Um, and matter of fact, any chance I get, uh, I'm getting in an airplane. I mean, since that time, I've landed on aircraft carriers, and it's all in the book. But uh, yeah, I, I love airplanes. So. Have you flown in a in, in a helicopter again? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of times, actually. Uh, it was a very good way to leave racetrack sometimes, just to get the helicopter. They they have a group. You know, all would rent a helicopter and we'd all leave the track and head for the airport so we could get home earlier. What was that first helicopter ride like after after the crash? Well, the, the, the first one I took was with the new WIBC helicopter, a lot nicer helicopter, I might also say. I didn't get the, didn't get the nice one. And um, so they, they said, you want to come up? I said, sure. And we had a good time. I actually did a traffic report. <laughs> what what about um the the day of the crash did you did you do a report before the the crash was that yeah and, and that's another good question um i uh, i had done a report it was the second to last report of the day and after i gave that that's when we always turned for the airport and so the crash happened now my communications with the station was actually a walkie-talkie well, when we crashed, the walkie-talkie, the headphone and everything ripped loose. So the walkie-talkie is laying on the ground, but it's still active. And I can hear the DJ calling and says, come on, Paige, we're on the air. Where are you? Get going. Come on. You know, I'm, like, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> there was about 10 feet somewhere. I wasn't going to crawl over there. Yeah, would have, of course. In retrospect, I, that probably would have been neat. Yeah, definitely would have been. Uh, and I, my leg was uh, a little too much issues there. No, it's still that's still a, an incredible story. Yeah, thank you. 